on MPI brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks, DigiKey. Every week, Lady Ada shows you the latest NPI new product introduction. This week, it's from ST. One more. What is the new product introduction of the week? OK. This week. That's right. This week, it's from ST. We're looking at the ST25R200. I'm always a big fan of RFID and NFC chips. It's great to see more offerings, especially from ST. This one is small, low cost, but powerful. It's a um, NFC HF, so 13.56 megahertz RFID reader. I believe it also is a writer. Yeah, it's an operate reader writer. So even though it says reader IC, it's like it can read or write cards, which is essential. Um, it handles, you know, all the NFCs, um, for, you know, ISO specifications up to NFC five. It can do like funky things like, um, you know, Felica and Kovic and CTS. I haven't even heard some of these. It can also handle uh, MIFR Classic um, if you you know want to implement the protocol. So it's it's back compatible with older chips as well if necessary, and um, it's low cost. A great way to add tag interfacing. You know I really like tags. Um, they're intuitive. People understand. You you tap them. They come in various sizes. Um, like you know this is the collection we have stickers. Uh, mini tags, keychains, cards, you can print on them. Um, they're very low cost. They're weatherproof. There's no batteries to replace. They work at a couple inches away distance. Like, I, you know, I think they're great whenever you're like, okay, I want to store a small amount of money. Um, so for like laundromats, for um, access control, for uh, public transport. I'm trying to think there's like another like money thing that I've, I've seen it used for like arcades and stuff. Sometimes, you know, other uh, small shops will use it if you want to have like credit um, without having a credit card. So the, the chip we're talking about is, is the same family, the ST25, but that the chip we're talking about is the R series. It's a good reader. If you want to have something that emulates a tag, um, but is dynamic and be programmable, we do stock the ST25 DV16, which is kind of cool. It's an EEPROM. So you can program the EEPROM on the fly over I squared C. So it's like dynamically changeable, but you don't have to have the writer change it. Can, it changes on its own by having like a device do it. So it's like a smart tag. Um, this chip, like I said, um, it's a reader device. It doesn't need a lot of components. It has SPI. There is an IRQ. The IRQ can toggle when there's a card nearby. So you can go into like a deep sleep mode and it will it can kind of like pulse enough of the RF to uh, the antenna with RF to sort of say like, oh, there's something nearby. My controller, wake up. Um, I like they can run from uh, three to five volts. Um, it has two antenna outputs. And what's neat is you can have either a single differential antenna, which I think is going to get you like the most power, or you can have two single-ended antennas which could be nice because like one of the problems I see a lot with RFID devices or NFC is like, where do you tap? And you like, is it the side or the front or the back or the top? You can have multiple antennas um, if desired with this um, setup. Um, if you have to, we'll show, talk about the eval board, but to create the antenna, you do want to design the antenna on the board and it has to match the inductance that the RF front end is expecting. SD has a really good inductance and tuning circuit. Um, calculator, you tell it basically the width and height of the PCB space or the flex space that you have for your antenna. And it will tell you like, okay, to match this inductance, here's the width of the trace and how many turns in order for it to act like the inductor of that micro Henry's or nano Henry's um, so that you'll get the most uh, power transfer. Because basically if it's not matched, you just don't like, you don't get the best performance. If you have good performance, you can get up to four inch um, distance reads, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, not a lot of other, I like that there's like not a lot of other pins required. There's a couple of power supply pins um, for the internal regulators, but then yeah, just like antenna output, SPI input, it's like a 24 pin QFN. To use it, you, um, you, know, you write the um, SPI code and it's like, basically there's the configuration buff, um, registers which we'll chat about. And then there's these two FIFO buffers that you can use to read and write raw data. And it's kind of like low, it seems like it's low level enough that you basically write firmware for the protocol that goes above the FIFO transfers to actually implement 
which of the many RFID NFC interfaces that you want to talk to. So like I said, there's like six or whatever, eight different semi-competitive, not fully co-functional ways to read and write RFID and NFC tags. There's a lot of registers. Um, like I said, a lot of them are just like configuring the, the transmit and like what kind of antenna you set up and what speeds and like, yes, you know, some of the decoding stuff. I would not try to write the driver from the register map because it seemed like pretty intense. Instead, check out RFAL, which is the RF abstraction layer that ST has written. And ST is pretty good at writing um, portable code, which I like for their chips. So that, that you don't have to use an ST microcontroller with this, although of course I'm sure it's tested well with the ST micros. I downloaded the code, I looked at it. It's like it's pure C, and so you could use it with C or C. You could use it on a microcomputer like Linux, or you could read it on a microcontroller like an Arduino, um, as long as you have enough flash and RAM, and then you just have to implement the SPI low-level interface, which is like not usually that hard because it's like a standard mode zero SPI. They have a nice eval board. I like this one because it's got this little snap apart design. It comes with an ST link for USB and debug. The module itself, which contains the um, 25R200, and then a pluggable um, antenna that you can attach on. So there's like a PCB antenna, single differential, a dual antenna, um, antenna that you can connect this external flex connector onto for like you know flexible antennas. Um, one with a UFL or WFL, as well as two micro tags. And what I like is this is clearly designed for very small antennas. Like they show you, like, again, it's like it's not hard to get stuff working if you have a gigantic three inch by two inch antenna, but for a lot of wearable, portable, or even like handheld designs, you can't have the NFC RFID antenna be the size of the device. It needs to be like in a corner and yet still have a couple of centimeters range. So I like that they give you a lot of options, but they're all small. So you know how it's going to perform it in tight spaces. And the eval board is in stock. Um, you can pick those up, not too expensive. There's also like, um, like a shield version of this. And the chip is in stock for purchase. It all is. At all at DigiKey. And then um, you had sent me a very short video, like 35 seconds. It's about the eval board. I thought like, oh, like this is, it's a nice demo of the eval board. Okay, we're going to play that. And then we're going to get out of uh, INMPI and then we're going to do some new products. Yeah.